One dress every day, all month. That is the challenge of the October Dress Project. And we first visited with Lori Arnold around the start of the month. And as we are wrapping up October, we wanted to check back in and see how it all went. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me again. Okay, we want to talk about how you had to be creative, what you did wearing the same dress uh, all month long. But first, remind us what this project is all about. So the, the purpose of the October Dress Project really is um, anti-consumerism, pro-simplicity, anti-conformity, um, and pro-imagination. So it's really trying to get people to think outside the box when it comes to what they wear every single day. You know, one piece of clothing can actually do a lot of different things, and we don't typically think that way. So uh, part of the whole point is to wear the same dress every single day for the whole month of October and really get those creative juices flowing and really think about um, how much we really need to be spending. Do we really need all the clothes in our closet? Which I can guarantee you, I don't. <laughs> okay, and I think that that's fitting for all of us because it's gonna be a real eye opener. I don't know how many times myself, so many of us, I don't have anything to wear. I don't know what to do uh, with what I already have in the closet. So before we show some of the pictures, actually, uh, today may be my favorite uh, <laughs> because you were wearing the dress today but not in any way that I thought at all. So talk about your outfit today. So today I'm wearing my dress as a scarf. Um, it was one of those days where I just really wanted to wear jeans and I tried tucking it into the jeans and it just felt uncomfortable and I wanted to be comfortable. And then I just had this thought, I was like, it could be a scarf. And so that's, well, that's how I'm wearing it today. It's, you know, nothing I would have thought of either. And uh, it's a lot of fun. It's, it, different way of wearing the dress. And again, one piece of clothing can do things you never imagined until you're forced to. <laughs> oh my goodness. And your outfit is completely cute. I, I'm only, I was given the tip by the uh, producer in my ear as well to ask you about your scarf. Okay, so if people are like, wow, that looks gorgeous. How is that a dress? Can we show a couple of the pictures um, and maybe you could talk a little bit about why you picked that dress and how you made the most of it some of the other days. So first, just tell us maybe just about the dress alone. So this is, I think, my eighth or ninth year of doing this. And so I've kind of learned along the way that there are certain aspects to a dress you want to pick. Um, it needs to be somewhat lightweight. It needs to be versatile. I've definitely had dresses with sleeves before, which made it a little harder. Um, so I picked this dress because it was simple. It was, uh, you know, it wasn't terribly form fitting, but it wasn't super loose. So I felt like it could be really versatile. And I chose blue because I don't wear a lot of blue. And so I kind of wanted to get creative with that color. I tend to wear a lot of red, a lot of the same colors every single day. And so I chose blue because it was going to make me reevaluate my wardrobe. And I have discovered that I really like fall colors with blue. I did not realize how much I would like that. So um, I've had a really good time, you know, trying to figure out what to do with this dress, how to make it a skirt, how to make it a shirt. Uh, how to, you know, I've worn it as a, like a vest at one point. Um, and of course today I'm wearing it as a scarf. So uh, that's kind of, that's kind of what I was thinking when I picked this particular dress. I love it. Uh, we've been seeing quite a few of the uh, different versions. Did you have a favorite? You know, I did. One of my favorites was um, just wearing it with a cardigan and an actual scarf. And, um, boots and tights because we're starting to get really cold which is my favorite time of year i love the winter and some people might think that's crazy but uh, i really loved being able to get my winter clothes out of the attic and start layering and so that was probably right there was my favorite okay uh, so cute and i love it and you've talked a lot about this but because we could see in one outfit it was just a skirt because you put something on top even a t-shirt but tucking it into pants even although you didn't do it today you you have you made it into a, a shirt sometimes Yep. So, you know, this shirt or this uh, dress has pockets, which makes tucking it in a little bit difficult. So I had to be creative with how I tucked it in. And in, in this picture, of course, you can see that instead of tucking it in, I just kind of tied it over to the side to be a, a shirt, which made me kind of go back into my 80s upbringing. That was very cool back in the 80s. Um, but yeah, you know, like there's so many things you can do with it. Um, and I still have, you know, five more days, four more days uh, to keep being creative with it. And I think I'd said this the first time around that towards the middle of the month, I hit a lull and I just cannot think of what I want to do with this dress. But then that last week, it's like my last week to go. So I'm going to get creative again. So I'm excited about uh, this next couple of days and what's going to come out of my closet and out of my brain, because right now I have no idea. 
I love it. What kind of feedback are you getting from people? Because we are just amazed by what you're doing. Um, the biggest question I get is, do I wash the dress? And yes, I do wash the dress. I wash it every maybe two, three days, wash it overnight, have it dried and ready for the next morning. Um, and I think the, the biggest feedback I'm getting is just at work, you know, we're all still pretty much virtual. And so on every Zoom meeting I go on, everyone's like, okay, let's see the dress. Lori, what are you doing today? <laughs> and that's been a lot of fun. I love my it. mom as well has been, you know, stalking my Facebook page. <laughs> I love it. You just, uh, I can't believe it. Looking at all the pictures, I'm like, wow, you are probably the most creative person that uh, I have ever met. And I think we can all take a little inspiration, not only from your creativity, but it's eye-opening as well, how you can do so much with so little as well. So Lori, thank you so much for letting us follow along with your October dress project. Thanks so much. You guys have a great rest of the month. We will. I love your scarf dress. Thanks. Scarf. All right, stay with us. Coming up next, a preview of the big epic art show.